My apologies for Cretius's ravings. Oh, don't apologize, dude. It's his fault. He looks like a grumpy old bitch. Who are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Is there any loot back here? Blood skull bear. Ah, damn it. You know what? I'm Dragonborn. What am I doing? Messing around, right? Oh my! What the? That didn't work at all. I'm such an idiot. Guys, are you alright? Are you still? Oh my god, you guys. Look, she's just barely crawling her way over here. Oh my god, Freya. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to Skyrim. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to do a couple of miscellaneous quests around Solstein that we received in previous episodes. Let's go down here to the miscellaneous tab and look at these. Ask Dower about Baldur's disappearance. We fast traveled to the Skull Village. There's a couple people having a conversation about somebody disappearing, so we're gonna go try to find that dude. And then also, in the first episode of the Dragonborn DLC, we talked to the blacksmith and he said that an old man had his pickaxe. So we're gonna go try to figure that out. Uh, quickly before we do that though, I'm gonna head to Riften and receive some smithing training. I should have done that last episode, but um, I didn't know that that was the smithing trainer, but now I know, so I'm gonna quickly go do that. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so here we are at Mistville Keep. Uh, the blacksmith should be just right over there. Hopefully, what time is it? It's 7.32. Looks, I could have just swore I seen his arm, though. Is he over here? Yeah, he is. Okay, cool. Um, we have a level up. I'm not sure if we can use that and then get five more levels. I'm pretty sure it's five levels per level that you get, but we're going to figure that out right now. Let's go ahead and talk what to Balamond. What brings you to Balamond today? Repair? Purchase? Actually, I'm looking for some training, Balamond. You wish to do what I do? Very well. Okay, so let's see here. 250 for a level, and then, yeah, it'll just incrementally go up. Let's go ahead and get the five levels that we can get right now. And that'll bring us to, if what, like 25 smithing, smithing I think? And then we will level up real quick, and let's see if we can do it again. Uh, let's just get some more health. I want to put some perks into some stuff. I think we're going to be using a lot of destruction. And uh, I think I'm going to just, like, switch so over to using a bunch more mage. Uh, because we have some good robes, we have Mirox outfit and stuff like that, so it'll be a little bit easier to do damage with mage. So I'll probably put some perks into that uh, momentarily. Let's Looking go ahead and armor? see if we can train you again, wish though. To do what I do? Very well. Indeed we can. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is going to cost us quite a bit of money, but it's a lot easier if just to do this than it is to go around gathering all the again. materials you need to level up smithing. I believe that you can only train to level 90 smithing at a master level smither. There's only two of those in the game from what I could find on the internet uh it was who who were they one of them is the skyforge guy i think you need to be in the companions i can't remember what his name is uh and then the other one is f uh back at fort dawnguard that's the uh dawnguard dlc so i don't know i'm not sure when we'll be able to actually get to those people but balamand here will train us to level 75 i believe so that's plenty for us for right now and by the time that we get uh, later in the game, we'll be able to unlock those master level smithers and continue to train our smithing like that. Uh, but again, it's going to cost us a ton of money. Let's go ahead and use these perks really quickly. Uh, on destruction, let's see. Destruction spells cost 35% less magicka, and destruction spells are 0.25% more powerful per level of destruction. So we'll go ahead and get that. Uh, we'll get that twice. Should we get dual casting as well? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to go look at a conjuration perk. I think that we can make our skeletons a little bit stronger or something. Oh no, that just increases them by one. And then what does this do? Bound weapons. Bound weapon spells now summon mystic weapons, which deal more damage. We don't really use that. Maybe if we had the bound bow, I'd get that perk. Alright, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get another perk in destruction. Should we get dual casting? Oh yeah, and then it breaks it into different elements here. I don't know what we'll do with that. We'll probably pick an element. From what I remember, um, the fire one's really annoying. It like leaves like... Later down the line, it leaves like these big burning things on the ground. It's kind of stupid. So I might do like cold or shock or uh, what is that called? Yeah, it's called shock. Wow, that's weird. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and get dual casting and then head back to Solstein and do those quests really quick. Okay, cool. So here we are at Solstein. Actually, there's a lurker over there. Let's go deal with that really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and put on our Mirak robes uh, because we're going to be using a lot more mage now. And a little bit less archery, because our archery is getting pretty high, and our mage is extremely low. If I can get my firebolt spell on, that would be really useful. Okay, let's run over here and fight this lurker real quick, and then we will start doing these quests. I believe the pickaxe one is here in town. It's just right over there. I've actually done that quest. It's been so long, though, so I hardly remember what the hell happens. Um, let's sneak up on this guy. I don't think we do extra damage with destruction spells if we're sneaking, but let's actually try and see. Wow, he's, like, really running around pretty menacingly. Okay. Got our dual cast. Boom, there we go. Yeah, no extra damage. I think that there's a perk you can get 
that enables you to do ooh, already a destruction level up that enables you to do sneak damage with destruction spells gotta be remember i gotta remember to dual cast makes the spell more powerful i don't know if it casts for less um i'm not really sure all right we're already out of mana that really sucks all right guys i need the companions to get over here and like help us out I should have uh, summoned a flame attack as well. We gotta remember not to waste all of our mana before we do that. Okay, Freya's running over there. Where the hell's Inigo at? Alright, there, Lurker's down. No big problem. Inigo, late to the party, dude. Okay, let's go loot this Lurker real quick. He has some Neordic arrows, a bunch of gold, create a soul gem, some scales on him, and some jewelry. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and have Freya hold Very well. Uh, all of our bones. Let's see here. Hip bone, left arm. God, we got a ton of these, and they weigh quite a bit. So yeah, uh, Freya's gonna be the new bone lady. She's gonna be holding all the crap for us. That way we know where it is. I don't want to split it up between both companions, because then it's just a pain in the ass to get the bones we when we need them. can proceed when you are ready. Okay, what the hell's that over there? There's like a collapsed wall or something. I really like the landscape of this place. It looks really cool. Okay, uh, enough messing around. Let's go ahead and run over here. I think we have to go to some old guy's house or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, actually, it looks like we need to go into this mine. I thought for some reason we had to go to his house. All right, so let's head in here. What's this place even called? Raven Rock Mine. Well, that's an obvious name. All right, here we are. Pretty cool looking place. What's this? East Empire Company. Huh. What's going on here? I said to leave me be. Precious, last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. Maybe we should... And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great-grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. Precious, you're an obstinate old fool and you're going to get yourself killed. Jeez. Lover's quarrel here. Uh, let's talk Who to Circeus. are you? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm looking for a pickaxe that you have. Oh, don't apologize, dude. It's his fault. He looks like a grumpy old bitch. Who in the bitch. are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Busy doing what? <laughs> Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. Uh, it's dangerous here for an old man. I'm in his house, I think. Or his mine. I'm just exploring. Perhaps I could help. <laughs> Perhaps I could help. Hmm. Maybe. Been difficult trusting people lately. They think I'm crazy. I think you're crazy too. But mark my words. These mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. What sort of secret would be hidden here? Start at the final descent. Huh. That doesn't sound too inviting. A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mine. Who was your great grandfather? East Empire Company. Let's ask him who his grandfather was. Gratian Kyrelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel. And he died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. How did he die? The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall. But I know better. What's your proof? My wife and I were cleaning out our home and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. Uh, what did the letter say? It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. The key is to the locked section? It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. This is hardly proof of anything. I admit this does sound suspicious. I still think you're crazy. Uh, I do think you're crazy. Ah, I don't care what you or anyone else thinks about me. I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Uh, why are you telling me all of this? Well, it's because I asked. Look! My wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. Time's my enemy. It's caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. Yeah, definitely caught up with you. So you do need my help. I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian, and what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. 
Any idea where to start? Gretchen kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key. Please, do this for me. So I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Huh, I actually just came here for a pickaxe. Are you sure Grayson's death wasn't an accident? Look, I know I don't have much to go on. I have that unsent letter, and that's really it. But I also have a miner's instinct that's run in my family from before Gratian was even born. I may sound like a crazy old man to you, but I'm telling you, the tunnels here are solid. They would never collapse like that. Uh, why were you arguing with Ephia? She thinks that old age has addled my mind, that I'm seeing things when there's nothing to be seen. I realize she cares about me, but she has to understand that I can't rest until I find out what happened to Gratian. Uh, what if she's right and I don't find anything? Then I'll settle down peacefully and never set foot in this mine again. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, even before I discovered Gratian's old things. I just hope both of you don't mistake my enthusiasm for insanity. Alright, and about this pickaxe. Glover wants his ancient Nordic pickaxe back. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the Skald in the first place. I actually have the shaman here with me, uh, so we can find out about that. It doesn't belong to you, fine, you keep it. Let me think about this. It doesn't belong to you. I kind of want it. Oh, very well. Here. Tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. <laughs> be careful down there. The mine can be treacherous. Alright, let's take a look at this ancient Nord pickaxe. Uh, does it look cool? Where is it? It's up here. Boom. That looks dumb. Why is it all curved like that? Eh, I don't know. I wonder if it has any, like, perk. Maybe you mine more ores or something with it? I don't know. Well, actually, I highly doubt that. Probably just a normal pickaxe. What's this? Just a book history on Raven Rock. Okay, so we can go give this pickaxe back to Glover, and now we have another quest. I think this is, yeah, right here, the final descent. So we'll be working on that as well. Okay, um, yeah, let's head over to Glover. Aw, oh, damn it, Scully died. That's a real shame. Oh well, we'll get another one. Aw, oh, crap, a master chest. Holy crap, that was hard as hell, but we did it. Okay, cool, let's grab all this stuff. Uh, pretty normal stuff here. Oh, another ancient Nord pickaxe. That's pretty cool. Staff of soul trapping. That's worth picking up because it's worth some money. Okay, cool. Uh, this place has been pretty menacing, to be honest. Uh, there's been quite a lot of fighting. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to edit that in, but uh, I think I'm going to like start doing this while that guy's still talking. Just so you're not sitting there looking at that old man's face the whole time. Because I was, I don't know, God, that guy really talked a crap ton. Let's go ahead and take this stuff as well. Alright, so we are probably actually almost done with this place. Uh, thanks to me just doing that while uh, old man was talking back there. Uh, I'm not sure though. I don't remember this place in the slightest. It looks like a couple of joggers might come out of there, but I guess not. Maybe it's like an exit or something. Uh, we've been doing pretty good, to be honest, with our firebolt spell and uh, also Mirak Sword. I think when we get up close to people, we're doing like tentacle damage as well too, because I noticed that some of them are getting like encased in tentacles. Uh, I can't remember the exact statistics of that, but I think that it's really good. Oh, here's a... Oh, now I remember this. Okay, yeah, these ancient Nord pickaxes can only... Are, are the only pickaxe that can mine stall rim, I'm pretty sure, in the game. Uh, Ring out braces. Man, we're getting a ton of good loot now. Deadly poison. A bunch of cool alchemy ingredients here. Uh, strength solution here. Pilther of strength. Yeah, I think we can mine this with our stall rim pickaxe. Not stall rim pickaxe, ancient Nord pickaxe. Now we have two of these, though. That's really cool. So we got our own. We can give that one back to what's his face. And then we can use this one. Uh, let's see. Will this work? Yeah, it will. Alright, Stalrum added. I'm not sure how good Stalrum is in compared to uh, other things like Dragon Bone and stuff like that. Uh, it's probably not quite as good. Might be as good as Ebony or something like that. Alright, just a normal Draugr there. That's kind of weird. Alright, so we got some Stalrum for the first time. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's take all this crap. Um, well... Oh, damn it, I just took something. I took a sword off of him, off of him that I didn't want. A ruined book here. I am on uh, your way, that's weird. I am sorry. And then here's an alchemy station. Is there anybody behind me? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, our, that's our exit over there, I think. So, yeah, we're really close to finishing this. That's so cool. Okay, um, let's grab the salt pile. 
What is that? Some elves ears? Nope, lunar moth wing. I don't know what the hell that was. That was something weird. Ooh, Netch jelly. I've never seen that before. An ass ash? I said ass. Ash something pod? I don't even know what that said. Definitely was not ass pod though. <laughs> we have some spawn ash. Uh what's this? Potion of water breathing. Whoa, have we even seen one of those before? I don't know. Let's take a look at that thing. It probably it looked kind of cool back there, actually. Let's take a look here. Potion of water walking. What the hell? Yeah, I don't... We have two of them. I don't even... I don't know if I've ever seen one of those before. That's really weird. All right, what's up here? What if we're going to get... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, these things are extremely dangerous. The best way to deal with them is just to get, like, a bow and just try to, like, hit them before they can hit you. But uh, they, they one hit you a lot. It's really annoying. For some reason, that one didn't activate, though. Let's see. Are you going to activate? Uh, maybe it's when you're only in the middle. I don't know. I've had my ass kicked by these things, though, before, and it's really annoying. Because uh, I got, like, just super precise aim. It's just a soul gem sitting on a pedestal. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's press forward here. We have a door. Let's open it. Oh, Draugr Deathlord. Okay, crap. Um, let's put down a flame atronach and deal with this guy. If we can. Looks like there's a bunch of people. Oh, crap. Okay, get my firebolt spell on. Go ahead and drop a normal save. Just in case. I knew I Alright guys, let's deal with these people. You got a bow and arrow. That's a real problem. Ow! Damn it. Whoa. I, am I damaging Freya with my tentacles? I hope not. That'll that'll really suck. Oh, I don't know why it should Oh my god, we're getting blown away. And it looks like I'm damaging Freya. What the hell is going on here? Alright guys, you gotta push back so that guy can't shout at us. Alright, there we go. Draugr Death Lord. We're fighting, I do not finally. Fear Doing decent damage. Man, this destruction thing is working out pretty well. I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult than it has been. I'm doing decent damage, it feels like, already. Uh, we haven't even put any perks into it. Uh, Mirax Armor must be really good. Okay, let's drop a quick save. And now we got two more people to deal with. The Archer, who almost hit me right there. And he killed our Flame Atronach, so let's put another one of those down. Oh, damn it. That's a real shame. Good thing we quick saved, though. Alright, he's not going to get me this time. Saying that he's probably gonna get me. Ah, he's got ridiculous aim. Okay, put our fire bolt spell back on. Not fire breath. I want uh, unrelenting force, just in case if they get close to us and I gotta blow them away. Why does it say that I don't have a Hakraman? I have some stupid dwarven helmet on. Uh, I might unequip that. I might unfavorite that actually. I will do that really quick, uh, just because I'm not gonna be using my bow for the time being at least. Where's Inigo? Is he alright? I can't believe we lost Scully again. Oh, that sucks. I think I, I might have even killed him. I'm not sure. I have to watch that back when I'm editing this. Ooh, destruction increase. Alright, let's... Should we level up? Oh yeah, we need to level up because we trained our smithing already. Okay, uh, another health or should we get more magicka? Let's get one more health and then we'll start getting magicka again. Alright, Freya is a tank, man. Holy crap. She takes a lot of damage. Why is this guy just standing there? You okay there, buddy? Oh, I'm gonna shot Freya. Yeah, I'm super impressed. And she heals herself. And she's, uh, is she using two weapons? I do not wow, she's got a bunch that. of different magic things. I think that that was like some sort of a uh, spell that gives her some more armor rating or something. I don't know. She just used something weird. Okay. Whoa. I almost got hit again. All right. We killed that guy. So we might as well, you know, drop one of those and uh, put one of these down just to tank a hit or two. There's Inigo. Almost dead. Look at that health. Holy crap, Inigo. You are getting owned out here. Oh my God. It's just bow and arrow guy, man. The bow and arrow is so strong on the Draugr's. I do so much damage with it. Is there any loot back here? Blood Skull Barrel. Aw, oh, damn it. Alright, crap. That sucked. There's a door back there. Blood Skull something. Uh, Blood Skull is a sword, I think. If I remember correctly. I think it's a two-handed sword. It's a weird one as well. Maybe we, this is the place that you get it? I don't really remember ever getting it here. Must have, though. I, I remember having that sword at some point. Uh, I believe it was back when I played it on the Xbox 360 when the game, like, well, when the DLC, like, first came out. Uh, let's see here. Let's be careful not to get shot. Why am I collecting arrows? Yeah, quit doing that. It's a waste of time. Alright, let's run over here. You did one hit our flame atronach. Oh, I'm gonna die. There's no way I'm living this. Oh my god. I survived. For now. Okay, cool. There we go. Let's quick save here, because we're getting close to him now. And, uh, Freya, run forward. Okay, cool. There she goes. Oh, I shot her. Here, let me, let me do some of that. And then we can pile on him right here. Freya, get up here. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. Is she tanking? No, he's still coming to me. Oh no, no. Now he's going for her. Okay, cool. And then we'll whoop out Mirak's sword. Man, this thing is so good. I think it's better than the sword that we had before, which was uh, Umbra. 
I think this was a couple points better. That's why I have it instead of Umbra. I uh, put Umbra back at the house in our keep safe chest. The crap that we're all the stuff that we're going to keep. All of our collectibles and stuff. An expert chest. Sir Dillick Steel Short Sword. God, I love how that looks. Another potion of water walking. I wonder if we're going to have to walk on water. Because they keep dropping us these stupid potions. Okay, uh, let's open this chest really quick. Okay, there we go. Heroic Stormcloak Armor. Huh, we picked up some weird armor earlier. It was like Spellbinder or something like that. Let's take a look at that. That's oh, that's 69. I don't know why it stuttered there. Uh, let's see if she will wear that. Do I want her to wear that? Nah, I kind of want her to keep her in that armor. How much does this weigh, though? I might take it just to sell it. 40, and now nah, let's just leave it. We'll take that, though. 6 for 150 is not too bad. All right, Inigo, are you still down, man? You gotta get... Okay, there he is. Okay, cool. Let's pull this handle. Opens that door over there. Let's run. I don't know if that's on a timer. Let's quickly unlock this door. Oh, no, that'll take us right in there. Okay, we know that this is here. We will come back to do that uh, at another point, because if I remember correctly, that's really confusing, kind of long. Um, but let's go ahead and finish up this quest for the old man before we go ahead and do anything else. What the hell's going on here? Whoa. Okay, there's one of those things. Is that going to shoot me? No, it's not. I think... Why is it not working? Normally, these things, like, you know, shoot some crap Let at you, but... Give you some room. They, uh... doesn't seem to be working correctly, for whatever reason. Maybe I'm not close enough or something. What the hell's back here? Ah! I'm getting stuck on a rock. Ooh, a chest. Oh my god, hidden loot. For once in my life, there's hidden loot. Normally, I come back behind here and there's nothing. Just a bunch of, like, freaking bugs crawling around and crap. Nothing of use, though, ever. Alright, let's crack this thing open. All right, Bosmer reinforced boots, some gold, some potions, Cyrodiilic steel bow that we don't need, so we won't take it. Oh, thanks, Inigo. Thanks for the compliment there. All right, so there's a book right here. What the hell is this? Uh, ice spike. <laughs> I'm guessing that ice spikes you. Uh, I don't know. Let's take it. Why not? It's uh, only weighs one. It's worth 96, I think. Ooh, there's that soul gem. Okay, cool. So let's loop. I think we're going to loop back around back over here, and then we'll end up up top there. Let's take a look, though. Is there anything over here? No, there's not. Alright, jump back over. Let's see what the hell's going on. Jump over here. Do some ninja stuff. Ooh, can we fit through there? No, we can't. Damn it. Alright. Ooh, whoa, I almost fell off. Oh, damn, that's a rickety-ass bridge right there. And I go, you just, like, without a worry, just ran across that thing. Oh, here's a <laughs> an obvious door. So that must be our out. Let's take this frost salt. What's that? Just a broken urn piece. Okay, is there anything in here? No, there's not. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for something, like a journal or something like that? I don't know. That old man was rambling, so I kind of, like, spaced it out a bit. Uh, here's like a spooky little, uh, corridor here. Let's follow it, I guess. Oh, yeah, here's the stall room thing. So we didn't need to use that door. And this is what that quest is. Holy crap. I don't know if we should be getting into this. I don't know how long it is. A bunch of traps. Is there any loot up here? Is this just our exit? A wooden door and a chest adept. Let's crack that open. Alright, cool. That one was nice and easy. And that is all. I don't know why the hell we'd come up here. There's like nine gold or something in there. I didn't even look. Okay, um, yeah, so let's head over here and just go see what is going on. I think that, yeah, there's a dead corpse right there, so that must be the old man's grandpa. Let's just jump down here. We know that we can get out back here. Is there a fight? I feel like we, we have to fight some people here. There must be something going on. And the door should be right back here. Oh my god, where the hell's the door? I'm scared. What was that place? There was like a... I don't know. That's, it's got to be somewhere around here. Because we've seen behind that waterfall, there was a door that said something about Blood Skull. Alright, a couple of dead bodies. Let's go ahead and search them. Who are you? This is Millis. That's a Draugr. Millis, do you have a journal here? Was that his grandpa? I don't know. Who are you? No, this is his grandpa. Gratian Circeus. Uh, journal from Gratian. Let's go ahead and open this. I'll scroll through it for you guys if you want to take your time to read that. Uh, you can. How long is this book? Oh my god, this guy talks almost as much of his almost as much as his great grandson does, or is it his great great grandson? I don't know. He didn't. I don't think he specified. All right, let's take that. Ooh, the blood skull blade. Here we go. Release energy blast with power attacks that deal thirty damage. Ah, uh, now I remember that. Yeah, that's pretty cool actually. Um, luckily I know this puzzle as well. It's all coming back to me now. All right, so there's like some weird yeah some weird swipes here. And what you do? Oh, are we done? Oh, we're done. Uh, should we come back and do this another time? I don't know how long we've been going because I'm going to like cut out a lot of that talking with me actually doing stuff. So this might be a more efficient episode. I'll show you guys how this is done. And then I think we'll come back and do this at another point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Why didn't that work? Hello? It's supposed to like release some energy blasts. Let's see. 
Uh, escape blood skull burrow. I've located the skeletal remains of Gratian Circius in his satchel. I've discovered an old journal in order to return it to Circius. What? In order to return it to Circius, I'll have to discover a way to escape blood skull burrow. Why are the energy blasts not coming off? With power attacks that deal 30 damage. Yeah, there's supposed to be like a blast of energy that comes out. Let me unequip it and re-equip it. See if that helps. Super weird that it's not working. I remember it working correctly before. Maybe you have to do something before. I don't know. Did I read the journal? Maybe you have to read the journal first. I don't know. Um, huh. Strange. I'm kind of worried that this is broken. That'll really suck if it is. Uh, I'm going to take a quick peek around here and try to figure out why this thing's not working. I'll be right back. Oh, enchanting increased to 41. I recharged our Mirak sword. I swung this thing and it said insufficient charge, but it doesn't actually show a charge meter. So maybe if I, maybe it was like bugged out on my, no, it's not. Huh. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm going to, I guess I'm going to read that journal. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so his journal said that, yeah, some energy is supposed to be coming off of it. Which I knew, but for whatever reason, that's not working. I'm going to try to, like, reload the game and see if that helps. Okay, I am back. And finally, I have fixed this problem. It took me about an hour of troubleshooting. I searched online for a bunch of different answers. I tried pretty much everything that other people were trying. Some people were having success, some people weren't. The only way that I was able to actually fix this problem of the Blood Scout Blade not releasing its energy blast is by downloading a mod that directly changed the Blood Scout Blade. So you guys will see what the stats were prior. And now you can see that it's 79. I'm, I'm almost positive it's way better than it was before. And the energy blast instead of 30 is 50. Um, yeah, the, the mod's called Better Blood Skull Blade. It'll be in the mod list description. I doubt that I'm going to use this thing because it's incredibly overpowered if you just compare it to our current two-handed sword. We do 45 damage and then 30 points of shock damage. This literally does double that almost, right? 79 and 50. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so good. Okay, so we're just going to use it to open this door and then we will go put it back in the Breeze home. I might disable that mod later because you don't really need it. It's just a uh, just an item, you know, it's just a sword. You only need it this one time for this puzzle, technically, and then you can do whatever you want with it after that. So without further ado, though, let's go ahead and open this. Actually, uh, let's grab this little Nordic mining thing real quick. Okay, cool. Dig site exhausted. Your archaeology skill has increased to six. All right, so let's do this puzzle. Uh, you just swing the blood skull blade, and it unlocks these little pillars here, and they move around. And I think there's a few of them that you have to do before it comes open. Yeah, here's some more. You just go in the direction that the little line is pointing, and it'll crack this thing open. Uh, man, this really puts a damper on this quest. This is a pretty good quest, uh, if nothing goes wrong. I've never actually had a problem with this quest up until now. Uh, I haven't done it on the special edition. I did it on old generation, like on the 360. Uh, and I never had any issue with the Blood Skull Blade, so it's really weird that something's, like, messing with it. I wonder if it's a mod that I have installed that's, that's like, jacking it up somehow. I, I highly doubt it, but... Uh, I mean, it's a possibility. Anything's a possibility, really. Did that do it? Okay, cool. There we go. So, we can finally move along here. Let's go ahead and drop a quick save. I'm going to unequip this thing. Do I have it favorited? No, I don't. Okay, I'm going to unequip that and just put our... Oh, I tried everything. I took off our Mirak armor and put, like, base armor on. I took off everything that had enchantments. And, uh, yeah, none of that crap was working. So let's go ahead and put our Mirak armor back on. And why do I still have the Blood Scout Blade equipped? Oh, it's because I haven't unequipped it. Let's go ahead and use... Uh, firebolt and progress with this quest here. Looks like we have some blades swinging back and forth. I think I already quick saved, but I'm scared. Ow, damn it, I quick saved it right as I ran into that. And the companions are gonna be dying. Freya, no! Oh, it's fine. Okay, let's just move along here. Uh, got hit again. I'm such an idiot. Alright, let's, let's, uh, get our wits about us here. I'm a little shaken by that whole problem with the Blood Scout Blade. Uh, but now that it's fixed, I can, I can relax. Let's relax here. Let's make it through this trap without dying. All right, what's going on up here? There's another one. God, these just keep going off. Okay, forget it. You know what? I'm Dragonborn. What am Fine. I doing? Messing around, right? Oh my, what the? F <laughs> that didn't work at all. I'm such an idiot. Fine. I have no idea how that killed me because I was ethereal. Uh, why is it, why is it, why is ethereal going off? So strange. Maybe it's because I'm technically activating these as I get close. I don't know. There's our lever though, so let's just go grab that. 
All right, there we go. What the hell is behind here? There's a big ass chest. That looks like a plus. Let's go ahead and go see what's in there. There's probably going to be some enemies here. I'm not sure though. Uh, what's back here? Looks like we can open a place. What's that? Oh, there's a word wall over there. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh, and what the hell? Oh my god, a black book. Oh, so we would have been sent here regardless of if we did that quest because I think Neloth would have sent us here because he helps us find the black books. So that's cool. Which plate grieves? Nice. Let's take those. Those look really cool. And a glacial crystal heavy helmet. So that is... Oh, damn it. I'm over encumbered. Guys, where you at? Oh my god, guys. They're like back there somewhere. Maybe they're fighting something. I don't know. Let's just drink a strength potion for now. Uh, I take this black book, but I don't want to be transported to wherever the hell it's going to take me. I think I can just transport and transport back, but I think we'll take that in the next episode. I don't think we're going to make it out of here this episode. I'm just going to clear this out and collect all of our loot and then get out of here if we can. Or not get out of here, but you know, end the episode. Uh, I'm not sure how long this has even gone. Probably a long time, to be honest. Uh, Blood Skull Barrow. Okay. Well, again, we'll enter that next time. Let's go see what this word power is, and then let's end the episode. Frey is getting attacked by something. What the hell is going on? Guys, are you alright? Are you still... Oh my god, you guys. Look, she's just barely crawling her way over here. Oh my god, Freya. Okay, let's go ahead and... Did I loot this chest already? I'm not sure. I don't think that I did. No, I didn't. Oh my god, what the hell is that? We have a... Is that a dragon priest? With a mask? Oh my god, it is. Holy crap. Okay, cool. How come I don't remember this? I don't remember this at all. Let's go ahead and put a flame match knock down. And uh, whoop this thing's ass. And that'll be a perfect point to end the episode after we kill this and get the word power. Like uh, we would have accomplished quite a bit. Uh, not exactly what we set out to do, but still quite a bit. Okay, uh, where is my firebolt spell? There we go. Freya, why are you over there? You need to get over here and help us. Or is she down there already? Oh, I'm sitting there complaining she's doing all the work already. Okay, whoa. Let's get our uh, lightning bolt spell because this guy is using magic and I think we will be able to slow him down a bit. Whoa. Okay, whoa. That's a lot of damage. Let's let's use some potions. I think we have some magicka potions down here somewhere, do we? Uh, minor healing, minor magicka, there we go. Plentiful magicka, all right, good, nice. Let us stay on this guy. Hopefully he doesn't target us. Oh, I'm dying, I'm dying, ah, critical, whoa. He resisted lightning bolt, oh, that's dumb. Uh, let's get Mirak's sword, try banging away at this guy with it. Banging away on him with it. Uh, there we go. Nope. I'm in the water. Oh my god. This is going terribly. Let's use another potion, damn it. Okay, some of these, and then we'll get healing out. Looks like he's about to shoot me. I'm scared. Okay, no he's not. Alright, there we go. Uh, that sucks that we can't use our sword. It's a real shame. Uh, am I gonna have to whoop the bow out? That's a real question here. I might have to. Let's try not to, though. Because, again, we're trying not to use that thing so much. We've used it, like, a tremendous amount uh, thus far. We've got to level up other skills. And the only way to do that is by using them. Oh, damn it, Freya's down. Okay. If I could aim with the firebolt. I hit Freya. He's got a, a ward up. Okay, cool. Now he is on the ground. Let's go ahead and get our Mirak sword out. And then healing. That way we can, you know, not get owned here. He's probably going to get owned regardless, though. Okay, come here, dude. Oh, there we go. All right, yeah, this is going well. Don't one hit me. Oh, crap. Do we have any healing potions? Please tell me. Ultimate healing. Thank God. Okay. Oh, my God. He's whooping my ass. I can't even get close to him. He's so strong. And he's sapping our mana. Alright, let's heal all the way up. Drop a flame after knock. That way that thing can tank. Poor companions just got owned so quickly. Alright, they face a little adversity and they fall down instantly. I'm not sure what level Freya is. If she catches up to us right away or if she is at a lower level than us currently. So what I'm going to do is become ethereal. I'll walk up to this guy and then Fight! punch him in the face. With this trusty dusty Mirak sword. Where you at, dude? Boom! Get on. There you go. Come on. Fall down. Oh. Don't hit me. Okay. Jesus. We did it. Oh, let's drop a quick save. Give me your freaking Dragon Priest mask. What is that? Increased shock resistance 50% and shock spell damage by 25%. That is a terrible mask, but holy crap, does that look cool. That is such a badass looking mask. Let's put that on. Uh, I wonder if it's heavy or light armor. I think that they change. So, what the hell is that thing called? It's down here. It's heavy armor. 39. What's ours? 42? Oh my god. This is way worse. Huh. That's a big discrepancy. That thing looks- oh my god. I wish ours looked like that. That looks so badass. Okay. Uh, well that's everything here. I think. Oh no, the word ball. Duh. Alright, let's go over here and loot that word ball. Is there any loot under this water? Possibly, you know. He came out from under here. There's some barnacles. 
This is a load of barnacles. Okay, let's go ahead and grab all those. And then, it doesn't look like there's anything under here. Okay, let's go grab this word power and then end this episode. Let's see. What is this going to be? But da 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 Here we go. It is word power learned. Worm dragon aspect. Oh my god, that's the final word for dragon aspect. Okay, cool. Let's learn that. Uh, very quickly, where's dragon aspect? There we go. Fully upgraded. Holy crap. I wonder what that does. Uh, worm. W-Y-R-M. Hmm. Maybe it puts like a little, I don't know, thing down, like a little worm thing down that helps us fight or something. There was like that little dude with a battle axe who comes out after we got the second upgrade. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time.